Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to mark up a PDF in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Many times in this series, we've talked about PDF alternatives like Drawboard, Zodo, or even the Microsoft Edge web browser that do a far better job than the Adobe Reader for marking up and annotating PDFs. However, many of our customers work in the corporate world or government, and they've been given a Surface Pro, and Adobe Reader is the application that corporate IT has put onto their device, and they have no choice about it. Fortunately, there are some tools hidden away in the program that we can use to mark up our PDFs. Let's take a look at them now. To draw on your PDF in Adobe Acrobat Reader, you'll need to open up the comment sidebar. Often you'll see the comment sidebar on the right hand side of your PDF editor. And if you don't, you can click on view, tools, and then comment and open to open up the comment sidebar. You need to be patient depending on your version of Adobe Reader for this because it can take quite a while to load up that comment sidebar. When the comment sidebar loads, you'll see at the top of the screen that a new toolbar has appeared under the normal main toolbar. Right in the middle of that toolbar, you'll see a tool that looks like a pencil. Now don't mistake this with the highlighter that's on the left hand side. The pencil is a slightly different tool. It's called a drawing tool. And if you click on it, you'll immediately be able to start drawing across your PDF with a red pen. You can change the pen color and thickness across to the right hand side of the toolbar. Be aware that Adobe Reader is not aware of the difference between pen and touch input. So whenever you have this pen selected, your fingertips will draw as well as the pen. That makes it a little bit difficult to scroll and pan the document because you'll constantly need to be turning that tool off. And to do that, you'll need to click on the pan hand, which is usually just above the pen in the normal Adobe toolbar. Then you can move the document around and click on the pen to start drawing again. If you're using the full Adobe Acrobat Pro application, you may find that the back of the pen works as an eraser when you're using your Surface Pen with the drawing tool. However, in the Adobe Acrobat Reader program that we're using here, you'll find that the back of the pen does not erase content. So to erase content in this program, we need to click on the erase tool and you'll find that it's actually pretty clunky. To erase, we need to basically trace over every single line that we've drawn and over every tiny little detail of the line that you've drawn. So it's really not a practical way to erase something where you've maybe made a mistake. Instead of using that, what I would typically do is switch to the select tool, that's the little cursor pointer arrow, and click on the annotation that I want to delete and delete it all at once. Or you could use the comment sidebar. You'll notice that as we start to draw the first time with our pencil in Adobe Reader, it actually creates a little box that's pretty annoying around the first stroke of ink that we draw on the page. Now that effectively is a placeholder for the annotation that we're making. And it correlates with one of those lines in the sidebar there in the comment sidebar. And you can click on that comment in the sidebar to select it and all of its associated ink, click on the three dot menu to delete it. So it's a little bit clunky when you compare it to using some of those other applications like Drawboard, Zodo, or even Microsoft Edge, where we do have touch and pen differentiation working and we can use the eraser on the back of our pen, we can use our fingertips to pan and zoom the document and move it around. So there are much better solutions out there. And you may find, even if you're stuck in that corporate IT world, that you can actually choose to open your PDFs with the Microsoft Edge browser, which will be inbuilt with Windows 10 on your Surface device. But if you're stuck using Adobe Acrobat Reader, then you now have a tool that you can use to mark up your PDFs with a pen. And that can help you to go paperless. So I hope that you found this tip helpful. Remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.